Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Backbone. The game is loading, I promise. It's just we started off at a weird spot, so I... Yeah, I have to kind of start recording early. To make sure we get this. Everybody's kind of chilling. That was a weirdly long song to not give me any gameplay during, I'm gonna be honest. I was I was trying to do stuff. But all you could really do was skip the cutscene. Oh god. Well, just when uh, we thought things were turning around for Howard, maybe. Had a nice little family that accepted him and everything. This jackass has to come here and shoot me! Show us yourself. What have you become? What are you? What have you aspired to become? I am a person. I am what others see in me. This is just a small fraction of your externalized identity. What does it mean to truly show someone every facet of what makes you, you? Everything shifts and changes. There is no me. 
See through yourself through the eyes of others. Know yourself through the small rituals of truth. We're all one, breathing in unison, rhythmically becoming, pulsating. I am, I am, I am. I wonder if this is like a hive mind kind of thing? We are, we are, we are. We. Okay, well, I'm locked up here. They shot me. Am I, like, I got shot. Did he shoot me in the leg, I guess, maybe? Or maybe I just r repaired it with the craziness in my body. Can't see any way to get it open. This is where I woke up, unfortunately. At least it's not a bucket. Locked door. Can't see anything through the keyhole. Where am I? What's this fucking container? Oh boy. You're awake. Your turn to make tea. Huh. All this technology here and no kettle. My apologies. What happens next? We're going to run some tests on you. I'm afraid the artifact you're carrying is much more valuable than you are now. I'm valuable. I know things that you don't. Yes, yes. I'm sure you stuck your nose into plenty of unwanted places, but I'm afraid it's too late for tea and gossip. Did you plan the whole thing? Not at all, darling. I would have preferred both you and the artifact in separate pieces each, but plans change. I adapt. It's what makes me strong. So what is this thing you want so badly? It's a symbiotic organism that splices its own genetic code with a host and rapidly expresses the new code. And now in my hands, it's safe. Is this like going to be a next step in evolution kind of thing? You'll use it to make people around suffer, as always. I'll use it to level the field. If I hadn't been, if it hadn't been me dealing the flesh, it would have been worse. The apes, they think they're untouchable. They're getting out of control. So you're you're doing you're you're taking like a I'm rebelling against the status quo, and I'm willing to do whatever I have to, even super messed up stuff, to do it. Approach. <laughs> Why? What are they doing? They've been in power too long. You know the biggest cause of cruelty? Complacency. You're a murderer. You're not ready to see the world through my eyes, and my only concern right now is the artifact inside of you. You wanted to blackmail the apes with. You still don't get it, do you? It doesn't matter. I promise we'll make this as painless as possible. You have to stop sacrificing people for your own goals. The artifact changes everything, Howard. Not that I need your forgiveness, but trust me, I'm not like the apes. You don't have to do it alone. Let me help. I'd better get going, Howard. I'm generally sorry it worked out this way. Fuck you, Clarissa. Think I hear someone just outside. Doesn't smell like Clarissa. It's nothing personal, but I'm not supposed to talk to you. Are you a doctor? Put it simply, no, I'm a scientist. What kind of a scientist? I'm a virologist, mainly, focusing on molecular biology research and viral therapy at the moment. In a sense... Do you work for Clarissa? In a sense, yes, she's the one that pays me. She gave me the job, but I have plenty of freedom to choose my own research. Why am I here? So we can run some tests on you, that's all I know. So Clarissa doesn't trust you, huh? She does, I just didn't ask. Not everything is my business, but I'm sorry you're in this situation. Why do you care? Guessing you had no idea what the artifact was. You're just unlucky, none of this is personal. You think I'll survive the tests? Hmm, I better get back to my preparations. Fine. Now what? It's an empty shelf for a small table. Not exactly useful. I could just give up and wait. No, not yet. Hmm. What's that smell? Shit, it's coming from the vents. Oh no, are you- Yep. You're like, incapacitating me? Yep. Quick, lose your- use your Venom Extendo arm to murder this person. <laughs> And get out of here. 
pin. She must have dropped this. It's mine now. Okay. Maybe I should have talked to her there. I was thinking I should just wait for her to walk by. Oh, you're awake already? Seems like the anesthetic's not very effective on you. I'll use more next time. Why? Hmm? What's that you're saying? Are you done? Not yet. We need to start another test. I'm really sorry. This will change you too. Oh god. Oh, you're poking and prodding me. Ow! Stop that. This is awful. Weird. Oh god, I hate it. Stop stabbing me! God, yeah, that was Howard screaming? Ugh. I don't like this weird torture porn. I hate it. Poor Howard. The transformation became undone, and everything reverts back to discomfort and uncertainty, the true state of all things. Things that were done to us. We bursted into this new identity, and we have to bear the brunt of losing it. Maybe we pushed too hard and damaged the shell that kept everything together. That gave us a definition. We are together, we are all becoming. There is no longer movement, just stillness of passing through time. Waiting for the end, the borders to shift, for the start of a new purpose. There will be none. We demand a purpose. We will keep reaching into the past, our limbs sliding through the centuries of slimy gunk, feeling for bits of trauma and events that could somehow elaborate on our anguish. We allow the stillness and feel through it instead. Nothing stays the same. No one knows anything. We become. Oh boy, things ain't great. <sighs> Sit down. Ugh, this bandage is really pinching. Specs. The front of the bandage is speckled with dried blood, some of it unnaturally dark, almost black. It's tight and pinching the skin beneath painfully. Leave it on for now. What else can we examine in here? Book? Beyond Walls by Hiza Shafitz. Thanks, Bell. Open the cover. There's a handwritten note on the first page. To Bell, hope this little book helps light a spark when you're in the deepest dark, CB. Open the book to the middle. Ah, uh, page fell out. Pocket it? I'll hang on to it just in case. Read the back of book blurb. What are walls? that The ones that surround us physically and emotionally, and how do we break free? Physicist and award-winning writer Shafitz makes a blisteringly innovative investigation into the true nature of happiness. Not the kind of escapism I had in mind, but it's better than nothing. I hear footsteps pacing. Morning, how are you feeling? What are the test results saying? I haven't yet had time to do any analysis, and I'm sorry, but there will be more. Don't try and feel better about yourself by being kind to me. If it would make you happier to be ignored completely, please just let me know. I don't know, just open a window, it's suffocating in here. Okay, I can do that. Quark, quark. Hello, geezer. You got something for me? A note? Howard, if this reaches you, I am where I found you, you on your ass at nine every night. I showed the geezer your photo, told him to check the unusual places. Sorry I didn't come back that day, I was being followed. I'm worried about you, I've asked around, but you're holding out on me. Hope we can have tea together again soon. R. Can you take her back my reply? I have a blank page. Honk. It's all Clarissa and Science Ape. Ape had organic sample, he was cloning from it. It got into me, but I'm fighting. That's all I've got space for. Write smaller. Okay, whatever. Honk. Thanks, friend. Fly safe. Honk. To you too. Ooh, a feather. Give me that. I'm surprised they didn't see the thing come in here. Or hear it. Wait, what? 
What was... I, like, walked into the door and... Howard, please eat. Oh, we got food. Look at the food. Soup. I hate soup. There's a piece of bread and some butter in packets, too. This will keep me alive, but it might destroy my will to live. Don't touch it. I don't trust myself to keep it down. Pocket the butter? Butter. Might need the energy later. Uh, okay, we can still remove our bandage, but I'm not sure we want to do that. Hey, you. Your name's Bell. Yes, how did you know? The tests have given me mind reading powers. Oh, I guess it was inscribed in the cover of the book. I haven't looked at it in a while. Now I can finally finish my curse on you. Don't you need a lock of my hair or something for that? Yes, give me the hair. I know it's not much, but maybe you'll find something in the book you can use. Please, tell me who you really are. I suppose I owe you that much. Where to start? I'm a scientist, but there aren't many scientists like me. Ones that enjoy torturing people, you mean? No, rodents do not become scientists. Sure, it's not illegal, but it may as well be. So you sold your soul to Bloodworth. Clarissa doesn't own me. She set me free. There was no way the proper channels would ever have let me do this work. Nice, but you're still working for a criminal. Is it that simple? The apes are the biggest crooks in the city and they're in charge. Clarissa does more for people like me than the apes have ever done. Clarissa kills people and sells their flesh to the apes. What are you talking about? Why would she do that? For her own gain. For power. Even if that's true and it's that and if it's that simple, I'm sure she has a good reason for it. You need to stop with this lesser evil shit. Maybe, but I remember what my life was like before her. I felt like I was a slave to society. You traded the lives of innocence for your happiness. No, I'm working to improve the lives of the real innocence. You need to rest. As you wish. Yeah, you can't do that lesser evil bullshit. I need to resist this. Fuck. Mm. I don't know how. What sort of messed up test are you doing to me now? Ow? This is horrible. It's like a syringe? Yeah. Wow, you had to stab it into me that hard? Jesus. Just take it from my arm like a normal person. Yes, Miss Bloodworth. The artifact is responding to tests, yes. Of course, I'll be very careful. Wow, I hate you. <laughs> You're a horrible person. All because you want to pursue your dream of being a scientist, you're willing to do these fucked up things to me? Sitting here saying you're helping the innocents, but you're harming me? It was all for nothing. The act of existing is enough. There's only change. What have we been? One with the past incarnations of self. One with the visions of futures never lived. One with a myriad of identities we've chosen and those that were chosen for us. We are one. Here we go again. Stained and stiff with blood. My blood. Listen in. Come on, I know you're there. Howard, how are you feeling? What do you think? I can only imagine. In any case, please get ready for the next round of tests. We'll start soon. You're complicit. I know. I'm not asking for forgiveness. This is my work and it has to be done. We are ready. Maybe I should take off the bandage so... the thing can, like, get out or whatever? Please try and eat. It's important. No. Alright, I'm taking off the bandage. Remove bandage. Oh, that feels better. What are they doing to me while I'm unconscious? What are they hoping to find? Carefully inspect chest. Not bleeding. Looks like I'm fine underneath. Wonder why she bothered putting it on me. 
Sniff bandage. Smells of antiseptic with undertones of earthiness. Not the iron tang of blood, something more mellow. Is this what became of my scent? Feel the stuff on your back. I don't know if I can bear to touch it with my hands. Sometimes I can feel it shifting. The overwhelming feeling of is of something warm and living. There are hard ridges and softer pulse, pulsating plateaus. This thing is not a part of me. No fucking way. Tumors pulsate in response. They disagree. Put bandage in pocket and stand up. Hmm... Look at it in disgust. Looks like a... Yum. Looks like a small chunk of overcooked fish with undercooked rice. Meal looks upsetting. Somehow I'm not hungry. Fuck this. Abandon the food. Whatever happens, I need to make sure the gas doesn't knock me out. Dinner tray? My weapon of choice. Vent. Sink. It's a dirty toilet with a sink on top of it. Soak the bandage in water. Maybe this will help. Oh, what should I do with it? Can, like, use it as a mask over your face, maybe? Gas will start leaking out of it any moment. I could tie the wet bandage over my mouth like a mask, or maybe I'll stuff the soaking bandage into the vent. Over my mouth. It's tied around my mouth and nose. It should be effective at blocking the gas particles and buy me some time. Wrap wet bandage around your face. Let's do it. I don't feel too bad. I sure hope this works. Okay. Here's hoping. Door. No way to open it. Need to think of something else. I could pretend to be unconscious. Risky, but it'd get the door open and get her close to me. Feign unconsciousness. What's on your face? Oh no, don't. Mr. Loader. Bell, stop. How are you conscious? Did the artifact somehow... We didn't want to die. I know you must hate me, but please don't hurt me, I can... We have to go. You don't have much time left, I think you should know that. The longest walk is upon us. Okay, you'll need these keys to get out of here. We want to see the test results. It won't help, it's mostly raw data and they need analyzing and comparing. We need to see them. Files are on the computer over there. Howard, I'm so sorry. Goodbye. Oh no, my, my animation was broke for a second. <laughs> that was interesting. Howard wasn't actually walking. It's probably the artifact doing it, you know? Giving me like weird levitation powers. Don't understand any of this shit. I should smash this all up, but I'm so tired. Okay, you said it was on the computer, right? Computer where? Okay, probably over here. Terminal. First suite of tests aim to work towards an understanding of patient's physiological state through pain threshold and response. Initial test concluded patient has a far higher, broader pain tolerance than average subjects, along with a massive spike in aggression hormones. Full data range below. This set of tests aim to establish a basic framework for understanding the artifact's effect on healing factors and motor control. Our initial conclusion is that, in this subject at least, the artifact has rapidly begun breaking down certain neural pathways while strengthening certain parasympathetic nervous systems. Names of the third twist test uh, suite will be to isolate RNA and DNA functions in a relationship. If patient does not survive, we will perform autopsy and attempt to recontain the artifact for further study. Are you? Are you me? Are we us? Are you you? Are you you? Are am I who I am I am I am? Look into extant data on psycholo psychological trauma linked to neuropathy. Correlation. Thesis. Psychosomatic impact on artifacts. Also steady effective immune response to common viruses of those exposed to extra wall environment compared to intra wall. City has immunosuppressant effect. Why? We are, we are, we are. Tests continue. There are not many of us left. Time is running out, but hope perseveres. I persevere. We cannot let the line end here. Change is preferable to annihilation. We are all our genes. Our genes are all we are. We are, we are, we are. Test day 3040 instead of 3. Interesting. It was bizarre seeing the growth day. It sits on the subject's shoulders like a hoodie or something. Today's test proved that his pain tolerance is well above average, and I believe it. 
He's been walking around with that thing on him for days and he still hasn't dropped. It's a shame we couldn't track the effect it's had on him from the start. And sometimes I wonder how much of that tolerance is him and how much is the artifact. Subject seems to be suffering nightmares. He groans, twists, and turns, even whispers to himself in his sleep. I guess if he is sleeping at all, like he's having an imaginary argument with himself. He might not have much time left. Even if I were to let him out now, he wouldn't last long. In a way, he's better off here. Of course, he doesn't see it that way. Yes, we are. We're wasting time here. These numbers and letters are inconsequential. We must go, we must become, we must be. Must go, we are, must be. His name is Howard. I don't know why I wanted to mark that down, but I felt compel compelled to. His name is Howard. Alright, let's get out of here then. Later, Bell. You asshole. You didn't have to do this. Alright, let's get out of here. See what we can do. I wonder if we're actually going to die? I wonder. Who knows? Act 5. Epilogue? Okay. Hello, Clarissa. Minister, I trust you're well. I'm fine, Bloodworth. Just busier than usual. Is the next delivery still on track? Indeed. I haven't heard from you in a week. Anything on your mind? Have I ever given you a reason to doubt me before, Minister? Not once. I must inform you that a most peculiar incident has occurred. Someone broke into my office. Any clues who could have tipped them off? Did they steal anything important? Just some papers, some pertaining to our partnership. Do you have inf any information concerning who could have done such a thing? No, but if I hear anything, you'll be the first to know. Alright, I believe you, for now. Thank you. Hope you find the culprit soon. Of course, if you hear something on the grapevine, let me know, please. This could impact us both. Of course, I will take care of myself, if you will do the same. Hmm. Goodbye, Clarissa. Have a wonderful evening, Minister. Wow, we're playing as you. Weird. And we're back at the bite? I think that's where this was? Okay, and yeah, this is the epilogue. Yep, this is the bite. Can't sprint with you, because we're in heels. Oh no, Renee! Great. I won't be intimidated, you know. That attitude is why you're here. No, I'm here because your goon fetched me at gunpoint. Desperate times call for desperate invitations. You're not supposed to... You're not used to turning people down, are you? Suze, thank you. You can go. Hmm, this is Harry. How did you find me? Some junkie let slip your name to one of my dealers. Oh no, Larry! Bloodworth, you need to tell me what you know about Howard, now. He's infected with a DNA splicing organism. What organism? What do you mean? It rapidly rewrites and mutates DNA. What? Where did it come from? My theory is that it was found beyond the wall. Fuck, Clarissa, please, just tell me what happened to Howard. Did you hurt him? He escaped. You didn't follow him? He's alive? Where? I think he is. We could look for him, you and I. You're not that fucking smart if you think I'll do anything with you. Is this why you brought me here? A mind like yours can surely hazard a guess. You want to find out what I know and tidy up your loose ends? Wrong. I want us to lurk together. I knew you were crazy, but you think I want to work with a mob boss that conspired with the ruling elite to eat the innocent? I've ended that whole business. Business? It is people's lives! They were not great people, rapists, abusers, wife beaters. Yeah, but that doesn't fucking matter. They still don't deserve to be carved up and fed to people. I mean, yeah, they're horrible people, but they deserve to, like, be in jail, not be murdered. And you're not the judge, jury, and executioner here. It helped me get control of the apes. You are a murderer. I might be, but it's over now. You want me to pat you on the shoulder? Renee, I'm your destiny, and you are mine. 
What the fuck are you on? I want to bring down the apes and their wall. Excuse me? And I need someone to stir up a revolution. You. Are you out of your fucking mind? Maybe, but that's, make me, that's what makes me good at what I do. You meant to literally bring down the wall? The wall is stifling us. We're all decaying inside of it. The wall is there for a reason. There's nothing but death beyond it. I've been out there. It's safe. And more. So maybe it's like a thing where the apes are lying to everyone, saying it's not safe, but they're just like forcing everyone else inside this wall, whereas they're enjoying all of the benefits of the outside world and not allowing anyone else to have it. I've been out there. It's safe. And more. What? What are you saying? People can live out there by their own rules. And you know this how? The technology that infected Loader. It was found there. Oh, and I had a tunnel built. It comes out far away from the wall. I can take you there if you'd like. I don't understand. You were working with the apes. How exactly do you think things will improve when they're not in power? People are dying from poverty. Women are dying at the hands of men. Who do you think is at fault? Can't really argue with that. The revolution will happen suddenly, like waking up screaming from a nightmare. That'll just give the military and police the excuse they need to hit back even harder. People will die violently. I've caused cracks in their ranks already. They can be widened. It's a lofty ambition for a murderous drug pimp. You already have power. Why risk it on something like this? So women can rule themselves. It's not real power. I want the real thing. Freedom. I'll just be helping you install you as dictator. That's the last thing I want. And what's in it for me? I risk everything by trusting you, and do you expect me to forgive you? You have to decide that for yourself. How convenient. Have you considered you may be delusional? Maybe. I don't make promises I can't keep. Well, Bloodworth has been delightful. Can I go now, or was there something else? Sure you don't want to stay for a drink? You have two days to think. Well, I'm going to have plenty at home. What happens if I miss the deadline? Then you'll be on the wrong side of history. Bloodworth, I still think you're a conniving piece of shit, but I'm not saying no. Be sure I'll tell you my thoughts one way or another. I look forward to working together. We'll do great things. So you were working to take down the apes this entire time, and that's why you were doing really messed up stuff. I wonder what happened to, Lo to Howard, though. Like, are we gonna get back to Howard? Boss, Rene, at last. It's been, I've been e it's been easier to get a table for two at Dorsha than to get a hold of you. The invitation is still open, by the way. The oysters are to die for. Something came up. Personal. What was so important? You couldn't even speak to me. How's the latest draft of the chapter on my department coming along, by the way? Let's just say things are becoming clear to me. My girl, I'm glad to hear it. I knew if I kept the light touch, you'd find your muse again. When can I f uh, read the new edits? I don't want to be working for people like you anymore. I beg your pardon? I've had a better offer. I quit. You can't be serious. The others know not to poach one another's projects. You can tell me who it was. You know, I'll protect you or we can discuss the pay. It's not another ape. Renee, you're nothing without me. You had one failed book and now you have a chance for greatness. You'll never have something like me on your side again. I didn't realize your ego was quite so fragile. I thought you were a fool, but clearly you're just suicidal. Very well. See how you like me as an enemy rather than your patron. Threaten me all you want. I've been through the fire. Fire? What do you know about fire? You're a pampered failed writer with no idea how the world really works. I only regret I didn't do this sooner. Yeah, screw you. Beautiful day outside. No time to relax. Howard's letter to me. He didn't say where he was. Perhaps he didn't know. Think about the note. It was brave of him to not be sentimental, to warn me. Now I know we were right about Science City, but at what cost? He could still be alive. You didn't deserve this, my friend. Clarissa said people could live over the wall. 
Who knows, maybe there are others there and Howard will find them. Is it all my fault? I convinced him to go to Science City, made him feel it was our last chance. It's my fault, so I have to make him proud. Either way, I'll finish what we started. What would you think about Bloodworth's offer, Howard? I really wish I could ask you. At least he knew I was looking for him. Fuck, Howard, why didn't you come back to me yet? Okay, I have things I should be doing. Make tea? Uh, Hibiscus. The same one he made for me, my favorite. We shared only a couple of days together, yet everything reminds me of him. I miss him. We had a real connection, it's rare. He's gone now, maybe forever, but he gave me hope. That things could be different, that there is future. I'll hold on to it. It's time. Tea time! Alright, where are we going? What are we doing? Are we leaving? What are we doing? Calling? Oh, come on, Renee, you can do this. You owe it to him. Beep beep. It's my duty. Wing it like he always did. Fuck, come on. Hello, who is this? Helen Loader, my name is Renee Wilson. This is concerning your son. No. Oh. Alright, where are we going now? We are here. We are all who persevered. What's the use in velocation? The end is built into the beginning. We come into existence and then we come out of it. We were a collection of dreams and mistakes. Scrapbook of a person, tapestry of scars and eyes wide open. What became of it? What happened to us all? We became a miserable husk of rotting flesh full of bitter regret. So I'm guessing the artifact has completely taken over Howard now, and he's kind of lost his sense of self and become this, like, weird hive mind entity. Separate ourselves into atoms and pull by the threads of origin. Follow their path from the moment of conception and up until the nowness. What do we see? The definition is inescapable. What happened once will happen again. Reconciliation of past forms and lives yet li not, li not yet lived. Things that happen, things that are bound to happen. A humming harmony of a being in perpetual becoming. We are at peace. When the landscape of the past and future in its dizzying complexity is laid out in front of us, what would our choice be? There is no choice. The choice is made. We become. And we persevere. We change. We can't escape the pain. Let the pain become us. Revel in its beauty. We change, but we change nothing. Somewhere. <laughs> okay, there's Howard. Oh boy, he's looking, uh... It is looking a bit worse, because I feel like this isn't Howard anymore. Like, the chest is convulsing and stuff. Like, yeah, it's actually taking over more and more of his body at this point. This is really not where I expected this game to go. I thought it was just going to be a, you know, normal little detective romp, but they've got some pretty neat stuff going here. I'm actually really, really invested in this. What is that? Is that something that I want to investigate? Is the sequel to this game just going to be Carrion? <laughs> if there is a sequel. Windmill. Lonely windmill in the background. Hi, Lonely Windmill. You're not turning. Not turning. Wind must be uh, pretty low today. Yeah, you can see how Howard's chest is, like, moving weird. I don't know. It looks like, I don't know. It doesn't look as rigid as a human body should be. It's kind of, like, goopy. Which is weird. Okay, so this is- are we outside the town? We must be- or outside the wall. So, is this like a post-apocalyptic world? Where everything outside the walls they say is horrible, kind of like an attack on Titan? But in reality, things live there and things aren't as bad as they claim it is? Well, things are pretty bad in Attack on Titan, but... 
Bas basically, the people inside the wall are lied to about what's really out there and how things are really working. And this seems like what we're going for here, too. Oh, boy. Okay, I've been completely absorbed now. Alright, and that's it, it seems. Hmm. I'm not sure if that's a sequel tease or if that just is the end of the game. I could see it being a sequel tease where we follow up with Renee. Democritical, democriminal, demo asking for imprisonment. Well, we are infant. The happiness is even an innocent mere by intimate, difficult to implement, but still is magnificent. We're all our participants, overwhelmed, but still insignificant. But I ask that you stay with me. The world are here to protect us from wild and free. All that I ask is that you stay with me. Someday we may put our feet in the dangerous sea. Take off your glasses, fill the glass, and will help us to see down below. Take it slow. All that I ask is that you stay with me. Well, there is still sun running and running with it. Stay with me. The wolves are here to protect us from wild and free. All that I ask is that you stay with me. Someday we may put our feet in the dangerous sea. Take off your glasses, fill the glass. It'll help us to sit down below. Take it slow. All that I ask is that you stay with me. All there is still sun running and running with air. The valueless corrupt me with fame. It's all the same, so matter and lame. I read the news, I hear the noise, I hear the noise Being woke is the new white, being broke is my social right Get rich and unite, they get hyped, we eat well and be tight We're gonna be I, being modest, corporate, honest, pinky promise, I don't care Everyone is seeking souls, trash and profits, I don't care Well it's profits, oldest then hottest, run for us, I don't care so far and I'm still scared. Wow, really? The song doesn't even go for the entire time? <laughs> I expected it to go the whole time, but, uh... I guess I can finish what I was saying about the, uh... game and everything now. These... this part of the credits might go on for <laughs> a while. It's... it's just the Kickstarter backers, so I think I'll... go ahead and skip this now. It shouldn't skip the cutscene after this, if, if there is a cutscene after this, too. It feels like that was probably it, yeah, so... Wow, it, it doesn't even say continue. You just have to start a new game if you want to play again. Interesting. But yeah, this was uh, this was pretty cool. It seems like that's setting up for a sequel tease, but I could also see the game ending there, I guess. Uh, when I actually looked at this game on Steam, people uh, had negative reviews for it because they were like... I think a lot of people thought that it was going to be like more of an adventure game where you solved puzzles and stuff and got items and had an inventory. But it honestly plays more like a visual novel, basically, because a lot of what you do in the game is just talking. So I can see how people wouldn't like it if they got the wrong impression, kind of, uh, from the demo or either the Steam page itself. But I was pretty interested in the world, and the writing was very good, and the music was very good and everything. 
Uh, I saw some people sad that it ended where it did. Uh, I think it ended at a fine spot, assuming they s actually do release a sequel. I'll be interested in playing that, but uh, I can see how some people would be angry about that. But overall, I really liked the game and I thought it was pretty cool. So yeah, this is a neat little adventure. So I hope you've enjoyed this playthrough of Backbone and I'll see you next time for something new.